Bears Beans by Gary Shepherd, illustrated by Gisela Bajorquez. It was a sunny spring morning in the forest. Owl, badger, rabbit, fox, and mouse. Were happy to see each other after the long cold winter, but someone was missing. Where is Bear? Badger asked. The others all shrugged. No one had seen him. He's probably still asleep, said Fox. The friends headed up the hill towards Bear's cave. But before they, but before they even got there, they call him. They could hear him snoring. They found Bear fast asleep, curled up next to lots of cans of his favorite food, beans. He would ah.、Uh, he would eat them for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, even as a snack. How should we wait? How should we wake him? Asked Rabbit. All the friends had different ideas, and each of, and each drew. There was the best. They soon started to argue. I can wake him. Mouse squeaked. Mouse squeaked, but no one could hear. Him over the noise. The problem is, boom, Badger, Bear is just too warm and cozy. We need to make him cold. That will wake him up. Badger went outside. He returned a few minutes later with a barrow full of snow. Brr. It really is cold," Badger said. "If this doesn't wake him, nothing will." Okay, everyone, pack the snow all around Bear. So that's what they did. The friends all stood and waited, but although he, the cave now much colder, Bear still didn't wake up. Soon the snow melted, and the friends continued to argue. I can wake him," Mouse squeaked. But once again, his friends couldn't hear him. The problem is, Owl hooted loudly. It's too dark in here. I, I don't mind because I can see in the dark. But before doesn't know, it's time to wake up. Owl flew out of the cave. She returned a few minutes later, carrying some small mirrors. Okay, everyone, grab a mirror and stand outside of the cave. So that's what they did. The sun's rays bounced from mirror to mirror, and soon the dark cave was full of bright light. But Bear's eyes were, but Bear's eyes were still firmly shut. Yet again, the friends all started to argue. I can wake him," Mouse said for the third time. But once again, his friends were too busy arguing. The problem is," screeched Fox, "it's just too quiet in here." The problem is," screeched Fox, "it's just too quiet in here. What we need to do." Is is make as much noise as possible. That's sure to wake him up. Fox went outside. When she returned a few minutes later, she was carrying lots of pots and pans. There were big ones, small ones, silver ones, and colored ones. Okay, everyone, grab some pans and hit them as la and hit. Okay, everyone, 
Grab some pans and hit them together as loudly as you can. So that's what they did. There was such a noise that it could be heard of miles around. Crash! Bang! Bash! Crash! Bang! Bash! Surely Bear could sleep through that, but he was still fast asleep. Once again, the friends started to argue. <gasps> this time, Mouse still. This time, Mouse said nothing, but he knew exactly how to wake Bear up. Mouse walked out of the cave. Out of the cave. A few minutes later, he returned carrying sticks. He gathered. He'd gathered from the forest floor. What are you doing, Mouse? Rabbit. What are you doing, Mouse? Rabbit scoffed. A few old twigs won't wait there. But Mouse just ignored him, and stacked the sticks into a pile. He, he then picked up one of the small pans that Fox had brought. "What are you doing, Mouse?" said Fox. "We've already banged the pan. We've already banged the pans. They didn't work." Once again, Mouse ignored his friend and placed the pan on the sticks. Next. Next, he picked up one of the mirrors that Owl had brought. "What are you doing, Mouse?" Owl asked. "We've already used the mirrors; they didn't work." But, but once more, Mouse ignored his friend. He held the mirror to the sun and angled it towards the sticks. After a few minutes, they started to smoke and then started to burn. "What are you doing, Mouse?" asked Badger. Bear is already too warm and cozy. A fire won't help. Once again, once again, Mouse ignored his friend and grabbed a can of Bear's favorite beans. He opened the can and emptied it into the pan. What are you doing, Mouse? Rabbit asked. It's no time for eating. We're trying to wake Bear up. This time, Mouse did reply. That's what I'm doing," he said. "Wakey, wakey, bear!" Minutes later, a bubbling noise came from the pan. the The smell of beans wafted its way to where Bear lay. "Pa," said Rabbit. "Nothing's happened. Bear's still fast asleep." But then suddenly, Bear's nose began to twitch. Then one eye opened wide, and then the other. Finally, Bear's mouth slowed open, ready to shout, "Beans!" Bear was awake. My favorite, he said. You should have woken me sooner. The friends had stopped arguing; they were all lost for words, except Mouse. "Come on," he squeaked happily. "Let's eat." This time, everyone listened, and the friends all tucked into the tasty beans. <laughs>